Whew, what a day, guys. What a day in every respect. It's four o'clock. I've just quickly dashed home. I'm about to go to Ivan Gazidis' press conference where he is expected to comment on the departure of Arsene Wenger, who confirmed in a statement this morning he will leave the club at the end of the season. I've got to be honest, first and foremost, nightmare day for him to do it, for me. Uh, Arsene really pulled a fast one on me there. I was out of action all day, running around, doing other things. Um, it's really messing my schedule. Fair play to you, old man, you got me there. But, what a weird day. What a weird, weird day. I think we all knew it was coming, and yet, now that it's here, it feels really, really strange. I uh, I don't want to be too morbid about it, but it, there is something, there's a grief, I think. Um, and with that, a relief, which I think often is comes together with grief, actually. I think they're often sort of slightly intertwined, just as Arsene and Arsenal have been so intertwined for my entire adult life, really, apart from a bit of Bruce Riot right at the start, my time as an Arsenal fan, uh, a conscious Arsenal fan, one who was sort of, you know, really invested in it. Certainly someone who covers about Arsenal, who writes about Arsenal, talks about Arsenal. It's all been about Wenger. I've basically been covering Wenger for, for you know, 15 years. It's a really odd feeling to imagine that it's not going to be like that next season. And let me be clear, I do think this is the right decision. I'm fascinated to know how he got to it, what the process was. He said after talks with the club, after discussions with the club, did he get wind that potentially the, the mood within the boardroom was for him to go and he's chosen to take action? Why now? Why before the West Ham game as opposed to before the Madrid game or after the Madrid game? I think it's going to be positive. I think it's going to be positive because it's going to allow him a farewell that I sometimes feared he would never get. A little bit of a farewell tour this last seven or so games. I think it's a good thing before the Madrid match. I think it will unify fans. I think it will make everyone, players and fans alike, desperate to give him a glorious send-off in Lyon. If anything, I think the players need to watch so they don't become too emotional. I think that's probably the biggest danger. Um... And I think it's the right thing in terms of this club going forward. I think we do need a new manager. Look, I've made no secret of that. But that doesn't mean that we can't celebrate Arsene today, that we can't celebrate everything that he's offered to the club, and not just to the club, to English football. Look at, look at the tributes coming from other Premier League clubs. This man was a revolutionary when he arrived, and for 10 years he was absolutely sensational. Since then, you know, there have been times where his performance hasn't matched up to what it was in the past. He still delivered a lot of silverware and he has still represented the club with class and with dignity. And I think it's perfectly possible to have a huge amount of respect for Arsene Wenger and also believe that this is the right decision and it is the time for change. Those two things are not mutually exclusive. And it does irritate me when I see people in the media kind of criticising Arsenal fans for being fair weather, for praising Wenger now and maybe they've railed against him in the past. I think those people are too influenced by the views of an extreme minority. You know, most fans, most rational fans, even in the darkest moments, I think had held, held Wenger in high esteem. I hold him in enormously high esteem. I've long said if I could sit down with anybody at dinner party and talk, I would be Arsene Wenger. There's so much I would love to know about his philosophy, about his managerial strategy, about all the stories around Arsenal that we've never heard. Will he ever write that book? I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, it's a very weird day and it leaves us in a bit of limbo, really. I mean, I think the club are going to look to make an appointment quickly. I'm sure Gazidis will talk about that shortly. I don't expect him to walk out there, you know, with the new manager like that. But I think they'll look to deal with this sooner rather than later because of the World Cup, because of the truncated summer transfer window. I think, what do I think? Who's a candidate? I don't know, I've got a sneaky feeling about Brendan Rodgers. I know that won't be a particularly popular one among a lot of Arsenal fans, but I've just got a bit of a sneaky feeling he might be very high on Arsenal's list. Um, and as for Arsene, I don't think we've seen the last of him. At Arsenal, perhaps. But I think this is a man who'll be looking for a job this summer, and it wouldn't surprise me if he got a very good one. I think he's held an enormous respect and regard all across Europe. Could he be the next France manager? Could he be the next Barcelona manager? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he'll be back though. I'm sure about that. I don't think this is the end of him as a manager. 
it's really hard to know what to do. I mean, it's gonna everything's gonna change. In some ways, everything I've ever said or written about Arsenal is kind of obsolete now because it's been so fixed to Arsene Wenger. Um, that crazy thing, you know, Arsene and Arsenal. Those names are linked forever now. Um, thank you, Arsene. I guess for everything that you've done, for the wonderful service you gave the club, and I think for being big enough to realise when it's time, finally. Uh, I'm going to leave it there because I've literally got Dash. See what Ivan's got to say. Don't get mad, get Ivan. That's what we're going to do. Um, more on this as it develops, definitely. Subscribe for more. Cheers, guys.